Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio. We are still doing these special episodes of Artists in Lockdown. And today I have with me Morrison Polkinghorn. He is joining us all the way from Cambodia. We're going to have a great conversation about adjusting to this indoor life. Hey, Morrison. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Hey, so Sergio. Sergio. Hello, so Sergio. <laughs> Good to see you. Super happy to be here with you today. And uh, uh, what time? What time is it for you right now in Cambodia? What time is it in Cambodia? Right now, right now we are nine here in Chicago. Nine twelve hours different. Nine p.m. Nine p.m. Oh, okay. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. So. So, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Past my bedtime. The lockdown. Past my bedtime. But anyway. <laughs> past your bedtime. Well, thank you for sticking around to have this conversation here with us. Definitely past your breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> And Morrison, uh, I, I wanted to really chat with you, you know, about how this whole lockdown has worked uh, for you as an artist, you know. Now, you're an artist who also uh, does a lot of uh, things with materials that you find, that you create yourself. You make your own brushes. You've been doing some videos about that. So let, we're going to have a little bit of a really fun conversation mm -hmm. about the work that you do. We have known each other through social media and also through the Art Next Level Academy where we have kind of seen each other as well through some of the videos there. So it's really fun to now have this one-on-one -on -one chat with you. And uh, let me tell you, or uh, let me ask you, first, Marison, how is the situation there in Cambodia right now because of the lockdown? Well, in one sense, it's like, is there a lockdown? Like people are still working, people are still <laughs> everything, masks going around everywhere. Um, my business here, which is Hotelier, um, zero, dead. There's yeah. like no Westerners. There's no tourism at all. Right. So in that sense for um, a Westerner, a non-Cambodian, it's really hard mm -hmm. to keep a business going. So we used to have 15 staff, now zero staff. Zero. Yeah. So in that sense, it's, it's difficult. But in reality, day by day seems to be going like clockwork. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And is the country, um, like borders are closed, like travel allowed outside of the country or? No, 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 no. We're, we're, um, we're in between Vietnam and Thailand. Those borders are closed. You can't do a land crossing. You can't fly. Mm. Um, there's talk about in a couple of weeks opening up again. Mm -hmm. Who knows? We really don't know, but Hey, just live every day as it is mm -hmm. and try and do the best. Wow, yeah. And so you are originally from Australia and now living in yes. Cambodia. So how long have you been there then? Uh, kind of like I've been what? here for six years. Six, okay. Six years here in this little town called Batambong. Like, I remember telling my, my folks, ah, oh, we're going to move to Batambong. Where? <laughs> Batambong. <laughs> never, never heard of Batambong, but like, Cambodia, are you sure? <laughs> Cambodia than you. So we're, Batambong is about three hours drive mm -hmm. to the big Angkor Wat, the, the main temple areas, which mm -hmm. normally there's like 3,000 people there. And at the moment, there's no one there. So it's wow. a great time to go to these historical thousand-year-old temples. So I don't know if you've um, seen Tomb Raider, mm -hmm. Angelina Jolie, yeah, but those, yeah. those historic temples there are mind-blowing. Wow. Um, Amazing. And so is, is there a art community that you connect with or? There is a big, big art community here um, in, in the entire country. So there's um, like four main cities. So Siem Rap, Phnom Penh, Kampot and Batambong. So last year we organized here in Batambong a arts community, a weekend art fair. So oh, this, wow. this was held. You know, my, I was the only um, non-Cambodian uh -huh. in uh, part of the committee and I felt a little bit like I don't want to stand on the locals' toes and we were thinking, oh, maybe 100 people will come. Uh -huh. 3,000 people came each day. Wow, amazing. Each day? Yeah, two days. It was brilliant. We were like, whoa, what's happened? Wow. So we are planning again for end of this year, but who knows what's going to happen. So Yeah, well, hopefully by then, uh, you know, it will be okay and everything yeah. will move on. But uh, so let's talk a little bit about your art. Which, uh, I would love if you can tell us uh, the art you make, um, what it's inspired by, and how are you also you know, oh, you'll be able to make the art during this lockdown. That's a long story. <laughs> but, um, 
<laughs> for the last 30 years, my career is in textile design. So my career is basically 18th century French tassel making and weaving, etc. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very busy back in Australia doing that. So part of the idea was we'll come to uh, Cambodia and would continue with the same work here. But I found I had more time up my sleep because in Western countries, there's this bang, 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 everything has to get done here, right. much less so. More relaxed. And I'm loving it. So I had time up my sleeves. And huh. uh, basically, about four years ago, uh, downstairs in the shop, no clients, funky music happening. And I <laughs> went, I want to make some art. So I want to make a square. Okay. Uh, I want to make a square from something round. It was that quick. Uh -huh. And I looked and I went, here's a lotus and here's an ink pad. So I just made these dots. I made a square, seven okay. by seven. And from uh -huh. there, my art has evolved into this monochrome, this pointillism work, hmm. um, which is created by the stalk of the lotus. And I use an ink okay. and, I ha and I make my own ink from the lotus petals. Wow. I only use the lotuses that I can get at the temples after a ceremony. So the lotuses are filled with everyone's love and gratitude. So oh, I just wow. this ink. It takes a year to make the ink. A and, year to uh, make the ink, you said? Yeah, a year to make the ink. Well, you can, you can, anything you can burn, you can make ink from. Mm -hmm. But how do you make that ink nice and smooth and stick to the paper, etc.? So I learned ink making in Hanoi. There's a UNESCO paper village there. Wow. So I learned my ink making techniques through them. So with my art, it is the stalk of the lotus. It's a dot. It's the impression. It's the mark. It's the pointillism. Mm. So I, I just continue with these marks, these stamps on, on the paper that I'm working on. Some pieces can have up to 10,000 marks. Yes, I forgot wow. to tell you. I count them all. <laughs> <laughs> so I find it interesting that, you know, the lotus said it comes from this, like, you know, from the temple, which again kind of brings that idea of the ritual and things like that. And then as you use it and as you process, you know, taking a whole year, that in itself is a whole ritual of creating the ink almost. And then the doing yeah. that by that becomes also almost, oh, wow. This is 2017 batch. I've got about this much left. Wow. So, I've got a 2018 batch and a 2019 batch, so I'm prepared. So it's almost like wine. The, old, the older the batch, the better? <laughs> the blacker, the better. It's great. <laughs> it's an ink. But I mean, like, so the, the whole idea of, of that kind of continuous, yeah. it's, not just the, it's not just about material, but it's also kind of uh, respecting where the lotus came from and also continuing that repetitive, there's, ritualistic there's many, practice. Many different levels in this so there is the aspect of being ecological and recycling mm -hmm. so there's that basic thing as well and the monks are really happy that i do take mm -hmm. the, the these discarded flowers yeah and recycle them into something else the one that happy about that so you know the, the lotus starts by growing in the muddy dirty depths and comes up and then bang it balloons so wow. you know that realistic thing of you're going through something really hard e.g what's happening now mm -hmm. but what's going to come from that mm -hmm. hopefully it's going to be an amazing lotus bloom right beautiful and so are you having right now because of the lockdown hard time, like finding any of the materials that you normally use for um, your art or? <laughs> yes, I, I am actually. So <laughs> normally uh, pre, pre this period of our life, I would hop on my bike, I'd go to the market and I'll buy a bunch of lotus flowers and I'd come back. Some days they don't have them because they only sell the lotus flowers mm -hmm. on the days of a religious ceremony. So I would wake up in the morning and go, right, I'm going to paint all day today. Yeah. Go to the market, no flowers. Okay, <laughs> not today. No paint. I, I've not been able to get flowers for the, like the last month because the days I do go are not a good day or the days they have are really, really old and I can't use them. And wow. So I've been playing with other things. So mm -hmm. a friend of mine suggested I do a video. Thank you, Sergio. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I used to do a lot of video work before, but uh-huh. kind of stopped that. So thank you for the encouragement on that one. So. Well, uh, you know, when I saw you, you know, we, in the, uh, we did a challenge or we had through a challenge and you did an introduction video and I thought, ah, you know, I will watch your videos. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you are uh, um, really uh, live yeah. and... Uh, uh, entertaining on video uh, and that they, they can't sit me down <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about what's the topic of the videos that you are doing um well i have a love of handmade items so mm. um everything i do i try to hand make myself um i also teach a workshop on gift packaging so uh-huh. and with my career before with the weaving the textiles having to make everything i work with so I'm thinking the line of the video will work more of me making something, e.g. a tool. So last week I made um, a brush from a feather. That was, uh-huh. that was great. Working with that, with the ink, using that with the calligraphy work, it came up really nice. And um, when I do an artist talk, I always paint and draw. And I've been making a crayon. Mm-hmm from a beeswax and the, lo- the ash of the lotus. Wow. So I've been doing this in the artist talk. So my um, video today was about how to make a crayon. Well, Morrison, thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you, you so know, much. Sharing. Hey, listen, um, yeah. I, I've got an exhibition on at the moment at the Sofitel in Phnom Penh. Let us know, yeah. Uh, it was for three months and it's been extended. So I'm happy about that. So. Yeah. Okay, great. So, 138,149 dots. I think it is. I lost count. But anyway. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So we'll put some pictures here on, as we go through the episode. Uh, and uh, where can our friends find you on social media and your website, which, by the way, you have a beautiful website. Of your friends uh, shucks. Thank you. Uh, it took me five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and a so couple of months where can our friends find you um, okay so in, instagram facebook youtube and and pretty much they're all under my name so okay. morrison underscore polkinghorn is is my instagram super and I, I will have it here on the screen and if you're listening through the podcast you can just check out uh, the notes for the episode and you will find it right there well, Morrison, thank you so much for your time. Have a great thank and you. restful night. Uh, wishing you all the best there in Cambodia to all our friends there as well. And uh, stay well, okay. be safe. Okay. And to all our friends watching, thank you for joining us today. Please check out Morrison's site and also on Instagram. Reach out to him if you would like to see some of his work and some of uh, his uh, video tutorials that he is putting out there as well. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.